In this video, we will be doing a final review uh, within the preliminaries unit. After this video, we will be stepping into the world of vocabulary, something that you obviously need in order to be even a basic speaker in Punjabi. So let's get started. Let's let's start with some 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 not too complicated wording. So let's do gyan. How do we write down gyan? So 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 if I put a gaga with the sehari. So if I do sehari with the gaga and I add this to an ada with the kanna and I add this to nanna. What does this read? So this reads ge, this reads a, this reads n. So gyan. And when I put it together, this would read Gya, gya, gya na. So in in English, what does gyan mean? This means knowledge, something that we that's critically important to every single individual, every single uh, human being on on this planet. Let's do one more, and let's just change this little uh, letter. So so instead of putting a ga ga, let me put a ta da. So if I put a ta da with the sehari, so something like this te. And, and then if I do ada with the kanna and add it to a nana, this would read te, this would read a, this would read na. So this is te a na. So this is te a na. So what does te an mean? Te an means, um, um, you know, to, to, to pay attention. So, so this means to pay attention. To pay attention. For my next one, let's start doing some of the conjuncts that we did. So let's let me let me do two with uh you know darara. So let's do krod. So how would I write krod? Well, first let me break it down as a, as I'm doing right over here. So let's do kaka with the hora. And let's put a rara in its feet, and then let's add this to just a tada. So what does this read? This by itself reads kro. This reads the. So this is grow the. So when I put this together, this would be grow the. So this is grow the. So what does grow the mean? Grow the means anger. This word means anger. Let's do one more with this. Let's do, uh, you know, uh, let's do trunk. So it's it's not the trunk from English. It's it's one from Punjabi. So so I'll tell you what it means after we break it down. So so for so for this, Tanka uh, clearly has a subtle n sound at the end, as we learned in the previous video, and there's also a subtle or there's a conjunct with with the rara. So we have something like this. So this is trunk, and then to end it off, we put a kaka. So this is trunk. So when I put it together, this would be. So this would be something something like this. This is trunk. And in Punjabi, this trunk means box. Let's do some easier ones now. Let's let's do kaka and with a tippy at the top added to a mama. What does this what does this letter sound like? Well this sounds like come and this reads like m. So come m. So there's a subtle M sort of, or yeah, so a subtle M sound there. So we have a cum. And if I remove that, this would read as cum. But that's not what we're saying. We're saying cum. Very subtle, but it's very important. So cum means work. This would mean work. Let's do uh, more more letters. Let's stop doing three or and, and two. Let's start putting in four. Let's do... Uh, 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 let's do ekta. So how how do we do this? So we do uh, iri with the la, and we add this uh, to a kaka, which can be added to a tata with the kanna. So what is this? This is ekta. So this is ekta. So let's write this down. So this is ekta. So what does ekta mean? Ekta means unity. This means unity unity so so let's do uh, some some harder ones let's do elania so let's do uh, ada with the with the dalama something like that add it to a lala with 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 a kanna by its side 
this with a nana with a biari by its side and let's do era with the kanna with the bindi wow that's ah uh, that's what that you know part sounds like so this is alania so this is elania elania so something like this ela ni ni ah so what does elania uh, mean in punjabi this means openly this means openly Let's do one more slide of this material, and after that, you can actually order some books uh, from from the from Amazon, and you can do reading exercises to really and 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 to 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 really nail down the pronunciation. And my advice would be to gr grab some from grade from grades one all the way to grade. Let's do four. Let's do four. That that would be good enough. Let's just keep going. So, so let's do um, a hard one. So, what what do I read when I add sasa with that tippy uh, being added to a gaga, which is being added to a mama, which is added to a rara, which is added to a mama, which is redded, which <laughs> which is not redded, which is added to a rara. So this reads sang ma re ma re sang mar mar. So 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 sang mar mar is a marble. So that's what this means. So let me write it together. This is sang. This this would be sang mar mar. Something like this. So this means marble. Sang mar mar. Let's let's do one with the ura with the with the hora. So so vertao. How can we write this down? So we do vava being added to rara, being added to tata with the kana with with the open cap of the ura. So something like this, which means that this ura has a hora at the top. Vertao. So 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 how do we read this? This is v. This is r. This is ta. This is o. This is v r ta o v r ta o. So this reads v r ta o something like that. This means uh, in in the literary terms, this means a treatment. Treat treatment. Um, let's do some some other complicated one. Let's do alana. So how do we write this down? So we have era with the kana being added to to haha -ha with 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 lala and 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 w w which is added to anana with a kana. So how, let's do individual ones first. This reads a. Ah, that's just he. This is le. This is rana. So a ah, lerna. This is very subtle. However, we can't really put that down below because it would ruin the overall sound structure of this word. So a ah, lerna. So let me write it down. A. Ah, you can kind of hear it. A. Ah, le. Rana. A ah, lerna. So what does a ah, lerna mean? A ah, lerna means nest. This word means nest. Let's do one, one more maybe. So, so, so that we can end this off on a on a high note. So let's do harappana. Uh, this is a complicated one. Uh, to to harappana. So let's do haha, being added to a rada with a atik. With being added to a papa, which is being added to a nana with the kanna. This is quite advanced. So this is hara perna. You are repeating this two times, or 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 another way, or actually, let me correct myself. That's not what's being repeated two times. If you remember the adik theory video, it's the one that's to the right, so that you can create this sort of diagonal line. So it's the p that's that's being uh, repeated here. So it's hara. Perna. That's why there is a harder P sound here. So hara perna. That's how you read that. So let me write that together. So this is ha, hara, pe, pe. So it's twice. That's why we have a uh, a dik. However, because of Punjabi, we don't write it. We don't write papa twice. So this is hara pe, 
and this is ana so hadapana so what does hadapana mean it means it's a it's a verb it means to swallow Okay, so I think we're good. I I think we're in good shape now. So so I'm going to end the video right over here. If you want more reading practice, which I highly advise, order some grade 1 to grade 4 uh, you know, books from from Amazon or just go to India and buy some from there. Uh and 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 and, and so that you can get more practice with with these uh words because the more you practice, you can basically learn anything with with a lot of practice. And I'm very happy if you if you have uh, stuck with me uh, uh up until this point because in from the next video we're going to do some basic vocabulary so i guess i'll see you in the next video and i really hope that this video was helpful